Hello, welcome back to Excel Share Academy. So today we are going to do second lecture of homologous recombination at the molecular level, chapter 11 from Watson summary series. Okay, so let's do. So today we are going to discuss about the models for homologous recombination. Guys, this is really very interesting. Or if you have a good imagination, then I'm sure and guarantee I can give you that you will never ever forget this thing. ठीक है, so details में जाने से पहले मैं बता देती हूँ यहाँ पे हम holiday junctions के बारे में पढ़ने वाले हैं। Of course, holiday was the name of the scientist. It's H O L L I D E Y. ठीक है, तो उसी के नाम पे है and it is really very very interesting. So let's talk about this. So there are a few important steps for homologous recombination. First one is alignment of two homologous DNA molecules. Of course, किसी भी रिकॉम्बिनेशन के लिए आपको कम से कम दो डीएनए मॉलिक्यूल तो चाहिए। सो व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट होमोलॉगस रिकॉम्बिनेशन, इट हैज़ टू बी बिटवीन दी होमोलॉगस डीएनए मॉलिक्यूल्स। इट मींस व्हाट एटलीस्ट 100 बेस पेयर्स शुड मैच। ओके, सो हैविंग दिस मच हाई डिग्री ऑफ़ सिमिलरिटीज़, दे कैन हैम now, of course, once uh, you have got the homologous DNA or the homologous DNA molecules present, now what you need is the introduction of breaks in the DNA. Then only these break ends are for the process so that they can become a single-stranded DNA. If you have a single-stranded DNA, mil jata hai, then you can attack onto the neighboring or the homologous, homologous pair so that you can start having the recombination. Okay? And that is done by with the process called strand invasion. Now, in this case, what happens is that you have got, suppose, let us say like this. Okay, you have a break. Ho gaya hai. And oh, you have, uh, let me say, where is the eraser? Okay. So, you have this process. Kar de. Oh, it's a whole thing. Anyways, I'll just make it once again. So what will happen? Just imagine that this much portion has been uh, this much portion has been processed by the enzymes like nucleases. So we know there are endonucleases, exonucleases. Okay. So these nucleases are going to chop off few nucleotides. Now what is happening? So you can see that here now we have got the initially single-stranded DNA is there, right? So this is going to attack on the next. So you can see here. So how will it be? It will come like this. So you have got the homologous DNA like this, correct? And here was a break. So this strand is going to base pair with this. Okay? So what will happen? Slowly, slowly, it will start making the complementary base pair between this and this. And in the two of them, it will start to break. Okay? So this event is called strand invasion. So as a result of strand invasion process, regions of new duplex DNAs are generated. So these are generated and which often contains a mismatch base pair called heteroduplex DNA. Because it is not properly same complementary, nahi hai, right? That's why. So then this results in the branch migration. So what I have shown you the figure that the molecule comes like this, right? It starts forming. So this process is known as the branch migration. Okay, so after strand invasion, the two DNA molecules becomes connected, okay, by crossing DNA strands to form a structure called holiday junction. So I'll show you guys a figure later and explain each and everything in detail. Uh, maybe in the next lecture, I'll show you the video also. Of course, many videos are available in the YouTube, but which one is the best one to understand? I'll get that for you guys. Okay, so this junction can move along the DNA by the repeated melting and the formation of the base pairs. So this movement, okay, because it's melting, it's breaking the hydrogen bonds and again making new hydrogen bonds. So this results in the movement and that's why it is called the branch migration. So each time the junction moves, base pairs are broken in the parental molecules and are formed in the recombination intermediate. So I hope guys are able to understand. So what is happening is, so, if you have another one and strand invasion has happened, okay, so in both of these, the parental DNA molecules, the hydrogen bonds, the base pair will break. And it is going to result in the formation of new one, that is between this one and this one. Okay? So, this results in the branch migration. Now, you need to resolve the structure. So, entire this thing is called the holiday junction. And now, you need to resolve the structure. You need to resolve the structure. 
कैटेनेटेड फॉर्म में नहीं रख सकते हो करेक्ट सो यू नीड टू रिजोल्व दिस एंड देर आर टू वेज बाई विच इट कैन गेट क्लीव सो देर आर टू वेज so either it can undergo cleavage at the horizontal axis or the vertical axis so in both the cases you are going to have the uh, products differently and we'll see what are those products and based on the frequency or the percentage of the recombinant molecules form or the parental molecules form you can actually guess like the holiday junction was cleaved at the horizontal axis or the vertical axis theek hai so as we shall see which of the two pairs of dna strands in the holiday junction is getting cut and they are going to form between two recombinant molecules so all this can be understand if we see the figure now let's understand like whatever till now i have discussed jo bhi abhi tak maine discuss kiya hai isko main ab figure ke sath samjhati hu theek hai and at the end i will also share the uh, video which is related to this okay so the small uh, arrowheads on the dna single strands points in the 5 dash to 3 dash direction theek hai so aap yahan pe dekh sakte ho many people are not able to understand even this also so it becomes a difficult to uh, explain them ye jo head dikha rahe ye jo direction dikha rahe it just shows that it is like 5 dash to 3 dash ab isme nahi dikha rahe yahan pe ye direction hai yahan pe ye direction hai similarly here also here it is 5 dash and 3 dash and here it is 5 dash and 3 dash okay now all these capital a b small b small c all these are your alleles okay now we are going to show how it is going to happen so obviously for holiday junction to happen there need to be a double strand break okay so mai wahan pe aapko single strand se explain kar rahi thi but you can also have double strand break for holiday junction formation okay so Uh, the same thing uh, just now what i have discussed so now if you see in the figure this figure is absolutely so beautiful that you will understand everything okay so what is happening in this figure let's see one by one okay so what do we see over here so you have got the break and if you see it has made single stranded right so yahi main aapko bata rahi thi ki that there are certain nucleases which will come and start processing the double strand break so they are going to make it into this kind okay the overhangs will be like this like how we have studied right the sticky ends we say in the case of the restriction enzymes cut correct so in the same way yahan pe bhi sticky ends bana denge now if you see it over here these are your what the duplex ओके okay? ये इसके साथ बेस पर अच्छे से हो रहा है और ये इसके साथ बेस पर अच्छे से हो रहा है ओके नाउ नाउ व्हाट वाज़ द सेकंड स्टेप आफ्टर डबल स्ट्रैंड ब्रेक आफ्टर डबल स्ट्रैंड ब्रेक देर वाज़ प्रोसेसिंग ऑफ द डबल स्ट्रैंड ब्रेक सेकंड स्टेप वाज़ स्ट्रैंड इन्वेशन नाउ लुक एट सी दैंड हाउ सो दिस स्ट्रैंड इज गोइंग टू इन्वेड दिस स्ट्रैंड दिस इज दर होमोलोगस क्रोमोजोम करेक्ट ना हाउ इट हैज डन कैन यू सी यहां से आके ऐसे सो वॉट इट हैज डन इट हैज एक्चुअली ब्रोकन द बॉन्ड्स बिटवीन दीज टू एंड स्टार्ट इट फॉर्मिंग द्यू बेस न्यू बेस पेरिंग बिटवीन दिस एंड दिस ठीक है सो यू कैन सी दैन इसके साथ हाइड्रोजन बॉन्ड्स ब्रेक हो गए हैं बेस पेरिंग टूट गया है एंड इसके साथ आपका बनने लग गया है नाउ दिस सिनारियो ओके this gray and this blue is different this gray and this blue is different and that's why it is known as heteroduplex okay so it won't be a complete base pairing but base pairing will be there why because it's a homologous chromosome humne homologous chromosome ke beech mein kar rahe so obviously there will be certain similarity correct but not identical so there is a difference between the having the similar sequences and having the identical sequences so it is going to be similar and because of this it is going to result in the formation of the heteroduplex okay i hope you got the point over here now let's move on so strand invasion is the central step in the homologous recombination because it is this invasion and then pairing of the complementary strands between the homologous duplexes duplexes that establishes the stable pairing between these molecules so finally what is happening a strand exchange has happened and of course for these strand exchange the proteins are also involved which helps in doing all this thing i see akeli randomly it cannot be done okay yeah so strand invasion generates a holiday junction that can move the dna by branch migration agar hum piche jaye so what do you have seen agar ye aise se badhta jayega so what does it mean it means this is moving right branch migration us cheez ko bolte hain if you have seen yahan pe sirf itna hi usne break kiya tha but 
here you can see it has moved this much further so your holiday junction is shifting this side can you see it can you observe in the figure yeah so this portion the holiday junction jisko hum bolte hain it is moving this way and you can see the entire this much base pairing has been done with the parental okay yeah so if the two dna molecules are not identical but they have got the similarities okay then it is true between two alleles of the same gene that branch migration through these regions of sequence difference generates dna duplexes and that results in the formation of the heteroduplex dna now how to resolve the holiday junction okay so there are two ways by which i have mentioned so you have seen ye branch migration ke baad this is what you have okay so you get like this structure agar hum isko thoda sa rotate karenge if you rotate this okay what do you see over here let me show you and just follow the cursor okay so this gray one is like this first one correct now let's talk about this one so ye aapka kaisa hai gray blue and straight blue okay gray blue straight blue then you have got this one blue gray and full gray blue gray full gray and then you have got the blue so which is like this so this is like the rotation which had happened in the holiday junction now it can be resolved by two ways either you can cut this holiday junction like this or you can cut like this theek hai to yahan pe kya hua hai wo rotate ho gaya simply if you see it has just rotated to become this normal structure now if the cleavage is vertical okay so aapko kya milega let me show you once again if the cleavage is vertical then this gray a b and this blue will get attached and then you have got capital a b c as one product okay so these are one product then small a capital b c okay this is one product and gray ka capital c and small b a will get attached so small a b and capital c ye aapka second product ho gaya now what do you observe over here this is the first side so what we have seen is that these are known as splice or the crossover products why because you can see that here the recombination had happened to ye aapke recombinant or the splice or crossover products kehte hain theek hai kahin kahin pe किसी किसी बुक्स में इसको सिर्फ क्रॉस ओवर बोलेंगे किसी बुक्स में इसको स्प्लाइस बोलेंगे किसी बुक में इसको रिकॉम्बिनेंस बोलेंगे ओके सो इफ द कट इज वर्टिकल देन यू आर गोन आई गेट द रिकॉम्बिनेंट और स्प्लाइस ऑफ क्रॉस ओवर प्रोडक्ट नाउ लेट सी व्हाट हैपेंस व्हेन यू हैव गॉट द कट हॉरिजेंटली ओके ना इन द हॉरिजेंटली यू कैन सी दैट वन ऑफ द पेरेंटल स्ट्रांड रिमेन्स एज इट इज एंड ओनली डिफरेंस कम्स इन द सेकेंड स्ट्रांड करेक्ट and because of this it is known as patch products or the non crossover products and so these are your parental these are your recombinants now if anyone gives you frequency so if you have got the frequency of recombinants more or the frequency of parental more then you should understand that what kind of cleavage it has undergone theek hai so if it is vertical then it has to be splice crossover products if it is horizontal then it has to be a patch or non crossover products so this is how these are the two ways by which a holiday junction can be resolved and this step is also known as resolution and the enzyme involved in this is known as resolvase simple so guys i hope aapko ye samjha hoga this is really very easy to understand okay and uh, i'll just try to get a video for you just a second yeah so this is the video which i have got from the youtube this is the url also so if you watch this video it will become more clear to you guys like how holiday junction is being formed and resolved so please watch this video and if you guys still have any doubts please let me know through your comments Ending homologous recombination by using holiday model. At first, we are taking here two homologous double-stranded DNA molecules aligned with each other, which have different alleles of the same gene. In holiday model, at first, on both the DNA duplexes, single-stranded nicks are formed at the same position. Then, the strand invasion occur. 
In this state of homologous recombination, initial short regions of best pairing form between the two recombining DNA duplex near the next and a holiday junction is formed. It is the region where two DNA duplexes form a cross-like structure of DNA strands. On the other hand, each of the next strand can easily best pairs with the uncleaved strands of the opposite duplex because of having the same or almost similar sequence on both the duplexes. Now, the branch migration occurs in which the holiday junction moves by melting and forming the best pairs repeatedly. In the parental DNA molecules, best pairs are broken and in the recombination intermediate, identical best pairs are formed. The DNA duplexes have very small sequence differences as they have the different alleles of the same gene. So, after branch migration, the new DNA duplex will have a few sequence mismatches at those regions. These regions are named as heteroduplex DNA. At the last step of DNA recombination, the holiday junction is cleaved, regenerating two separate DNA duplexes. This process is called resolution. For better understanding, here the holiday structure is being rotated to have a plane structure without crossing strands. Resolution has two possible sites. Each site can give different outcome after cleaving. The first cut site can be the pair of strands which were uncut during the first step of recombination and having single color, they can be easily identified. As a result, the original DNA duplexes are spliced together in the resulting duplexes, so they are named as spliced recombination product. The resulting duplex will have a region of one pair of identical alleles from one parent, a region having heteroduplex DNA and a pair of alleles from other parent. In the last region, the C allele have switched from one duplex to another. So this is called the crossover region and thus the product is also called the crossover product. The second cut site can be the pair of strands which were nicked during the first step and they have mixed colors. As a result, the product have a patch of hybrid DNA, so they are called patch recombination product. The product is also called non-crossover product as the A and C alleles have not changed their position in the new product and remains identical like the parental duplex. Yeah, so so I hope guys, if you like it, you have understood how the holiday junction is made, how it is resolved. Okay, uh, if still any doubts are there guys, happy to help you and let me know your comments, your uh, thoughts about this through your comments. So till then guys, take care.